were parts of your code. And it makes these methods reusable, these pieces of workflow. So these are the advantages. So to create observables, you can use retrofit, which we use a lot at the trade here, from the beginning actually. And not our example, but retrofit from the beginning. So you can have observables that are ready-made for you. You just describe it. You get the objects from uh, our server. <coughs> we see it. And you can create actually your own observables. So I will show you an example. When I wrap, in effect, a dialog, and we will return the button pressed as an object into the map. The Okay. So the method, the class to the interface to use to create your own is unsubscribe. Again, you see the same word subscribe subscription. But it's like this, unsubscribe. So yeah, the idea of it, of this method, of this uh, interface is to change what was a callback into an observable, an observable with the objects that are transferred on this observable. And you don't need to forget things like to tell when the observable is completed, which thread that you want to uh, subscribe on, because I forgot to mention, you can easily hop threads between one call to the next. You can say, this next step happens on the computation thread, this next step happens on the UI thread, and so on. And uh, we will see also about this, how you, you get the signal that you want to unsubscribe, how to get the signal to remove the listener because you have callbacks, you have to unset the callback and that's what will uh, give you the signal. So, uh, things I learned the hard way. If you forget to subscribe your observer to the observable, nothing happens. Really nothing, not even the first step. And this was very strange because I thought that when I said uh, do something, it just happened. But no, it did not. The whole change, the whole chain of events, will be triggered only when you do subscribe. There are some subtle subtleties like if you have this class and you do unsubscribe, you should not reuse it. And this copy this also. And because we are on Android. If you try to make some calls, like network calls, on the UI thread, it will crash. And uh, conversely, if you try to update the view when you are on the computation thread, then it will crash also, so you, you very often you forget to hop thread to the, to the main thread. And uh, if you use Retro Lambda to, use, uh, to convert Lambda methods, into uh, interfaces. Sometimes the callbacks, you, when you do search in the Android Studio, you don't see. But again, a return on that adds methods to this, gets us closer to the 65K. So I have this code example. I'll, uh, I'll show you first the application. So this is a J motion. And <coughs> What I did is uh, there is a website called uh, Melotic. It's uh, um, I like cryptocurrencies, and this is a site that gives uh, prices on the, between cryptocurrency. So it's quite obscure, but uh, I picked this one. So we will see the list of currencies. If I click here, we see the list of currencies, right? So BTC is Bitcoin, and this is a uh, Ripple and stuff. But this implementation was done with callbacks. And this implementation was done with Rx. Okay, so nothing to see much so far. Except perhaps that you've noticed that uh, this uh, information came uh, later, right? Yes, they come after the main list. So let's look at some uh, examples. Quite small, huh? I will do presentation more.
So I was talking about the retrofit earlier. Uh, this is what retrofit uh, looks like. So you declare, I want to get the markets. Uh, the HTTP uh, and the host is designed this way. And you will be told the result on the callback. Okay? So that's the callback method. So market map is an object and the uh, retrofit is uh, deserializing by itself. Now, if I look at um, the version that is with Rx, it will just return me the markets on an observable. And because of the nature of the retrofit, it will be one object, and then it will say on complete right away. So with these two different services, I am able to make direct calls to the Melodic API. So if I look at the, the so when I want to fetch. So when I want to fetch the markets, this is the callback method. So you remember I was listing the markets. So I just call the melodic service, and on success, I get something. And on failure, I get the error. Okay. So that's the callback method. Now if I look at the Rx method, when I fetch the markets, I would say get markets on the Rx service. Then I want to hop thread because get markets will be returned on the IO thread. Then I say uh, hop onto the main thread. If there is an error, then make a toast. On the next one, I will show the markets. And show market is the populating the adapter. Okay, so this is a normal Android stuff. And then there are other things after. But this is the part that takes care of uh, listing the markets. Not boring. The code is okay. So after we have listed the market, what we want to show is the market depth. Uh, no, it's latest orders. So inside show markets, it gives the callback uh, implementation. When we show the markets, so here, we show the markets, then we will fetch the latest orders. And what fetch the latest orders here? Because uh, melodic, if you try to fetch them all at the same time, it will complain. I notice, so you can only make one API call or two every second. So that was a good example also to see uh, how to do in this case. So this is the callback implementation, so we will have to whittle down the list of the uh, latest order to fetch. So that's what, I mean, we must have coded something similar before. So we take the iterator and for each we fetch. Okay. And the fetch of the latest order now looks like this, a call with a callback, and on the success I get, I take the latest. I take the latest and then I will fetch the, the latest of the next market. Okay. So from here I will go back here. So it goes the logic goes down and then goes back here. Okay? So that's the callback implementation. Now, in the Rx implementation, 
I just showed the markets. Then, if I look at um, if I look at the type, do on next returns an observable of market map. Okay, it hasn't changed from uh, from the previous uh, call. But when I have the market map, now I want to get the latest orders. So I just go ahead and I say get latest deals and you see it's a flat map because this is again an asynchronous call. And because this is an asynchronous call to the network, I need to hop back to the main thread even though I had it here. Okay, so this is a detail that also another pitfall. Even though this was executed on the main thread, this one will be returned on the, on the network thread. So the result of this flat map will be a network thread. So you need to hop back again onto the main thread. And because this was the last thing I need to show the page, I just say subscribe and add the latest deal for, uh, for the market. So here, it will be, you see when I, when I made a call to get the market, I get one map. But here, I will receive as many deal orders as there are elements in the map. Okay? So I have transformed one market map into an observable with many deal orders. Okay, I don't know how many will come. So this is a workflow in effect of what needs to be done to show elements on the page. Questions on this uh, presentation? Still interesting or So, I have an arts implementation fail here. Yeah. If something crashes, okay, so if there is a network error, So if there is a crash anywhere along the list of actions, I will get a result on here. It's at the end, the subscribe. This is another way of writing observable, because I don't care about the complete. So I say for my objects and for my errors. I will receive a message here. Okay? Anywhere the error happens, I will get it at the end. Okay, so you don't need to hop the error as you could do with the callback, the callback for which of it had success and failure. And I would have to hop, hop, hop or handle it halfway. Here it just goes to the end. Okay. So that error is kind of like a network error? Or? So if it is a throw here, it will be a network error. Here, it could be a null pointer exception or uh, any of these uh, obscure Android uh, view errors. It will just pass on. It's just a throwable, which is really the the base. If the service return like uh, uh, the that was that would call was fine, but the service return like no data. So what would happen? If you return no data here, you will get back a. Um, an empty observable. An empty observable is an observable where the complete signal happens right away. Or sometime in the future, but there won't be any element. Okay. So here I have a RX implementation. So I told you that um, Melodic limits the number of calls you can make to I estimate to a second. And in this implementation, we don't take care of this, okay? So it still says uh, fetching latest deal. 
and I'm surprised you should have shown at least some of them. Okay. Usually, some of them are shown and some don't show. So the reason why is that on the implementation, on the implementation term, when we fetch the deals, we do this. So, because I have a map, I have a... Okay, here it's no longer a map, it's a, a list of IDs, and for each of these IDs, I want the uh, information about the deals, okay? So I have to make many, many, many uh, network calls. So the typical way you could do this, is take the list, make an observable, and this observable that you have created here is one long observable with all the elements that come right after another. Okay, and then complete. And then what you do with this, for each market ID, you will return the list from the melodic. So this is a network call. And what will happen is that all these elements will come at the at once, and we will uh, hammer the server that will refuse. Okay. So we have to find another way to do this. So uh, this is so this is the right way to do. So I, I will get many orders, but I will limit this number is two. I will limit how many calls are made at the time. So now it's a little bit more elaborate. We'll still create my observable with all the IDs, but what I want to do is to create my list of network calls without calling them. Okay? So before it was flat map, but here I will do a map. You remember when I showed you the flat map, I said that it's like we have those little observables and then they are flattened. But because I have used map here, I still have these little observables and they are not flattened. So they are not subscribed, they are still waiting to be called. I make a list out of it. So this is a funny way of creating a list of objects. Right? This is convoluted, but it's also to show what's possible. But I create a, a transformer list into an observable with many, and I take back the many and I create a list. But this list first I have market IDs, but in the end I have an observable of one list and this list contains observables. And these observables are not subscribed. And then what I do here, I will merge these observables. So this is another thing of uh, RHA. So I will merge them, in effect flatten them, but at most two at a time. That's why when we show, that's why when I show here, you will notice Sometimes, I think this one came before this one, okay, because uh, there was one call that was slower. So, uh, this is a complex example, I would say. Uh, I don't know if you are keen on more, or if you are out of time. Uh, can I show you the dialogue 
first, and then I come back. You, you raise your hand to remind me. Yeah? So, I made a small example of um, uh, Iron Dialogue. So, when we show a dialogue, we can have up to three buttons, okay? Positive, negative, and neutral. So what we are going to change here is to make an observable of integer. An integer will be the number of the button. So we see again this unsubscribe that I was talking about earlier. So to show a dialogue in Android, you need the uh, other dialogue builder. So you create the builder, then you pass the string for the positive button, the string for the negative button. And when it's time to show the dialogue, then this happens. Okay? Not before. So the good thing is that you can prepare in advance. That's only when the window is necessary that it is called. So we find again the listener here. Unsubscribe, transform a listener into an observable. So we have to create a listener. And the listener tells you which button has been clicked. Okay. Which so you just say to the subscriber here you just say on next and that will create the object into the observable and because there is only one button to click you say on copy so here we have created the listener but we have to create the window so how do we create the window if there is a positive button then we set the positive button. If there is a negative one, we set it. Create show. Okay. So here I don't see the unsubscribe. But let's go to your question. I don't have an example here, but there is something. So I'm trying to find the... Because in our application, we don't care about the rotation. I mean, we don't have rotation. I'm trying to think about the way, and the way you could do is by using a behavior subject. So this is a type of object that is both observable and observer. So it means it it provides an interface and because of this specific class it, it kind of caches okay so you could imagine that you have your network call that you call on create for instance you can uh, any time when you want but you can call it on create and this subject will subscribe to the network call so it will receive the object and it will cache the latest. 